Welcome to the R video tutorial on working with lists in R. In this video tutorial, you'll learn how to create a list, learn what a list is, obviously, and learn how to peel items off of lists or retrieve items from a list. Okay, let's get started. If you look over here in my editor, you will see that I have a simple vector that I'm creating using this syntax here. Vec1 is just the simple vector of 0, 1 through 5. And I've typed them in individually so you can see each item. Then I'm also going to create a vector that has names in it for people. So I'm going to have in this vector, Bob, and there's it's in quotations, John, Sally, and that's all that's in that vector. And it's also of a different size than VEC1. And then I'm also going to create a simple matrix. And the reason I'm creating these items is because I wish to combine them into a list. Because a list holds multiple items together in a manner that allows you to keep them together as you move through so that you don't lose any items. It also makes it easy for item retrieval. So the first things I'm going to do is just run this code here so we can see what the output looks like. Okay. Notice it ran fine. If I wanted to look at any of the items, I could simply type in here in the console VEC1, and there's my vector. I could also type in VEC2, and there's my vector. And I can also look at MAT1, which is my matrix. Now, what I want to do with a list is just combine them all together. So over here in my code, you will see that I have combined them into a list. So the statement is list. So don't name your list list, otherwise you won't be able to use this function. So I called it my list one. And if you've watched any of my other video tutorials, I typically put numbers at the end because R has reserved words that I don't want to write over. And list is the easiest one I think you can write over. So I take a list and inside the parentheses, I just put the items that I want to be in that list. And if I do this, I can run my code, and you'll see that when it prints it out, it has these double brackets with a number inside. So this is my first item in the list, double bracket, one double bracket, is my vector of numbers. Double bracket two, double bracket, is my vector of names. And double bracket three, double bracket, is my matrix that I wanted. And notice they're all now attached to my list one. One thing you might want to do is not have to worry about this double bracket notation. So you might want to just add some names to them. And that's the next thing that the code does. So if you look over here, you will see it says combine them into a list with names. My list 2 is a list. And what I've done is in front of each of the vectors or items that I'm putting in my list, I'm giving it a name, so I'm calling this one numbers, and that's going to be what vector 1 will be called when I try to retrieve it from the list. My vector 2 will be named people. My matrix will be called M1. So if I run this code, this is what I get. And instead of having these weird double brackets, it puts a dollar sign and numbers. Dollar sign people. Dollar sign M1. And if you've used the any R very much, you'll notice that dollar sign is very, very common for pulling items off of things. So like in regression, if you want the coefficients, use dollar sign coefficients. Because what R is returning in a linear model is a list that has these items on it. Now, if you want to pull a specific item from a list, that's what the next section does here. So if I want to pull the people off, I can use the old notation with this double bracket, two double bracket. So I just say my list one double bracket, two double bracket. If I run that, you see that it pulls off those names. Okay, doesn't give me the whole list back. It only gives me that piece. If I look at it from the dollar sign perspective to pull off something with the name associated with it, in this case, people, I run this code and I get exactly the same answer. And the reason is, is I've just named it. So what I recommend people do is whenever they create a list, if it's important to be able to pull the items off easily, I would recommend that you use the dollar sign notation and name each one of the pieces that go into your list. Now this will become incredibly useful in later video tutorials when we learn how to create functions, and often you want a function to return more than one item. 
Okay, well this has been the R video tutorial on working with lists in R. If you have any questions, please ask or watch the next video.